Good evening, it's about five minutes before 6pm on Tuesday 29th of November 2022. I'm going to be sharing with you the Mass readings. I'll just begin with one or two prayers and then tell you what the readings are. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, Ever this night be at my side, to light, to guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him. We humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the other evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Lord, save me or I perish. Keep me close to you by your grace, or I shall sin and fall away from you. Jesus, help me. Mary, help me. My holy angel, watch over me. Amen. The readings for today, Tuesday of the first week of Advent, the first reading is from the prophet Isaiah 11, verse 1 to 10. The theme, on him the spirit of the Lord rests. The responsorials, the psalm itself is 71. And the response is, in his days justice shall flourish and peace till the moon fails. The Gospel Acclamation, Psalm 84, verse 8. Alleluia, alleluia. Let us see, O Lord, your mercy, and give us your saving help. Alleluia. Or oh, alleluia, alleluia. Behold, our Lord will come with power and will enlighten the eyes of his servants. Alleluia. And the reading from the Holy Gospel is according to Luke, chapter 10. Verses 21 to 24, and the theme, Jesus is filled with joy by the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah, and the theme, on him the Spirit of the Lord rests. A shoot springs from the stock of Jesse. A skion thrusts from his roots. On him the Spirit of the Lord rests. A spirit of wisdom and insight. A spirit of counsel and power. A spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord is his breath. He does not judge by appearances. He gives no verdict on hearsay, but judges the wretched with integrity and with equity gives a verdict to the poor of the land. His word is a rod that strikes the ruthless. His sentences bring death to the wicked. Integrity is the loincloth round his waist. Faithfulness the belt about his hips. The wolf lives with the lamb. The panther lies down with the kid. Calf and lion cub feed together with a little boy to lead them. The cow and the bear make friends. Their young lie down together. The lion eats straw like the ox. The infant plays over the cobra's hole. Into the viper's lair. The young child puts his hand. They do no hurt no harm on all my holy mountain. 
for the country is filled with the knowledge of the Lord, as the waters swell the sea. That day the root of Jesse shall stand as a single signal to the peoples. It will be sought out by the nations, and its home will be glorious. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the book of Psalms, Psalm 71, and your response is, In his days justice shall flourish and peace till the moon falls. O God, give your judgment to the king, to a king's son, your justice, that he may judge your people in justice and your poor in right judgment. In his days justice shall flourish and peace till the moon falls. In his days justice shall flourish and peace till the moon falls, fails, he shall rule from sea to sea, from the great river to earth's bounds. In his days justice shall flourish and peace till the moon fails. For he shall save the poor when they cry and the needy who are helpless. He will have pity on the weak and save the lives of the poor. In his days justice shall flourish and peace till the moon fails. May his name be blessed for ever and endure like the sun. Every tribe shall be blessed in him. All nations bless his name. In his days justice shall flourish and peace till the moon fails. Alleluia! Alleluia, Alleluia. Let us see, O Lord, your mercy and give us your saving help. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Behold, our Lord will come with power and will enlighten the eyes of his servants. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The theme... Jesus is filled with joy by the Holy Spirit. Filled with joy by the Holy Spirit, Jesus said, I bless you, Father, Lord of heaven and of earth, for hiding these things from the learned and the clever and revealing them to mere children. Yes, Father, for that is what it pleased you to do. Everything has been entrusted to me by my Father, and no one knows who the Son is except the Father, and who the Father is except the Son, and those to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Then turning to his disciples, he spoke to them in private. Happy the eyes that see what you see, for I tell you that many prophets and kings wanted to see what you see and never saw it, to hear what you hear.
I've made a mistake in making the folder because I've jumped a page and never heard it. It was on a th next page. I'm sorry, it was only two more. And I, I want that confused me because I put it in the wrong, in the wrong place. But I can still give a reflection without worrying about the fact that I've put it in the wrong place. So, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, this these things happen. The reflection will be for today, the 28th of November first week my eyes are really bad because I said it was the 29th but it it is actually the 29th but I've got it written down as the, the 28th so that's my mistake again so Luke 10 21 to 22 there is a striking beatitude at the beginning of today's gospel reading happy the eyes that see what you see. It is a beatitude that embraces us all when Jesus declares us blessed because we have seen him with the eyes of faith and heard him with the ears of faith and in seeing and hearing Jesus we have seen and heard God because he's the Son of God. Jesus says in that gospel reading, no one knows who the Father is except the Son and those to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Jesus has revealed God to us and we have responded in faith with our eyes and our ears. We have come to recognize the face of God in Jesus and to hear the word of God in what Jesus says. There is a privilege involved in this because as Jesus says, the prophets and the kings of Israel wanted to see what we see because they were anticipating, they were looking forward to it. His birth and the Saviour, they had different ideas about what the Saviour meant as time went on, I think. Uh, and to hear what we hear and never heard it, rightly Jesus says to us, happy are you, that's you and me. Advent is a season to grow in our appreciation of the way God has blessed us through the sending of his Son to us. It is an opportunity to listen more attentively to what God has said to us and is saying to us through Jesus and to see more deeply into the mystery of God present in the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus. As we see more clearly and hear more attentively, we open ourselves to being changed by what we see and hear. We become more like the one we see and hear so that we can bring him to others. That is our Advent calling, to see the Lord more deeply, to listen to him more attentively so that we can witness to him more fully when Jesus is alive in you you have to witness in every little way we don't have to be big evangelists we just have to share the love and knowledge of God thank you so much for listening may God bless you and heal you I'm sending you his peace and abundance May you always be happy and joyful in the Lord. And I've begun this book today and I find it fascinating. So I'm going to be doing more of that because it's quite relevant at the moment with the coming of baby Jesus. 
that we look at the history. This is about the history up to the present time by a real Jewish man who converted to become a Catholic, raised totally as a really, really, you know, um, studious Jewish man. So I know nothing about him, only what I'm reading from the book. And a priest friend loaned me the book, loaned, loaned it. He hasn't even read it himself yet. <laughs> Maybe he's going to listen to me, but I doubt it. <laughs> so, God bless you all. And I'm going to carry on doing what I can this evening with meditations. And I've got my eye on that book. <laughs> God bless.